Hello and welcome in this video I'm going to be covering the Canon webcam utility tool so they've released a beta version of the webcam utility tool which you can use for your camera so they basically put out a website and it looks like this and it's saying with so many of us relying on video calls to stay connected during these challenging times the quality of that connection is key turn your compatible Canon camera into a high quality webcam now and free so it gives you a few instructions here there are a few videos online that actually cover a lot of this however i'm going to cover it from the point of view of using a camera that is not listed in the compatible cameras here so you can only use the cameras that they say you can use apparently but i tested the t6 one i downloaded it and it looks like this when you download it it's just a msi file firstly get a copy of that and save it somewhere because i think when they come around to updating and the versions change you might not be able to get hold of it so because i know that it works on a camera that's not listed i'm going to keep that somewhere safe so that's your first point to note and what you want to do with that is keep it in a location that you can access it so maybe put in like a hard drive um, usb drive or something so okay what i'm going to be covering in this video is what happens if you're using a camera that's not listed on that the freezing issue if you're having it freeze after 20 seconds or 30 seconds of the camera being used uh, the USB speed so the cable that you're using the USB 2 or 3 that you're using the, if the camera is not listed lead and mode on camera so yeah how you set the camera to be able to go to that option uh, the duration of the run how long it lasts for the EOS tool the normal standard one that we usually get with the camera uh, Skype calls, StreamYards, OBS screen and dual screen so sometimes you want to use it twice and the battery because obviously if you're streaming you want to have it for a longer period of time so this is more of a helping guide for you so I'm hoping that it will give you the information if you're struggling to use your camera so firstly if your camera is not listed download the most equivalent one to your camera so mine was the Rebel series I took to the Rebel it actually I've got a 5D I've got a 5D Mark II and that also works on the Rebel tool so but in that scenario I would have probably downloaded like the 6D Mark II version which is close enough um, so yeah get that software and then save the software if you're having issues with the camera the issues will look like this so first if I show you a webcam section and what it does so in Skype you can select the camera type if I bring that up now and show you that so this is like a, a bit of a helping hand if you were okay so if I bring you this so when you do the three dots you do settings you can do the audio and video so you get that now the reason I'm getting this at the moment is because I'm using that camera feed over in OBS so this feed here this feed oops, is the OBS feed so I'm using that camera already so your first issue you're going to have is in this version anyway the beta if you were to be Skype calling somebody and you were recording the screen at the same time for like an interview you can't use the same camera on the Skype and in OBS so technically what I normally do is have another webcam set up to Skype to and then have this webcam this camera to record me so you won't be able to do that that's your first limitation in this version anyway and um, what you want to do is if you have zoom or stream yards then it'll be fine because that uses the same camera feed um, and it streams to your YouTube if you've got it connected so that's your first thing the second thing if it's freezing what I experienced was when I plugged the camera in the T2i it freezes so what I mean by freezes is it gives me like 10 seconds of footage and it looks like fine like this but then it'll freeze and lock so you know when you get the shut and it's noise when it's coming down you get that noise and then it doesn't work anymore and if that's the case what you want to do is restart your computer so I had that happen to me twice it used to actually happen in the old EOS desktop tool as well so it's not just this new tool so what you want to do is restart your computer switch off your well, I've got buttons for my USB devices, but I switch the USB devices off, restart my PC, and then that, when it reboots, it works fine. 
then it doesn't freeze. So if you're getting the freezing issue, that's your fix for that. Uh, what else did I say? So USB speed. I plugged the camera directly into a hub, which was a USB 2 hub. And with that, it was lagging. So you might experience where the volume isn't the same or you're not tied up with that. If you're using a software, you can add the sync milliseconds on that, which I've got a separate video on. Um, but if you want to test something, if you've got a USB 3, make sure you plug it into that because that allows higher speed so you won't get that freezing issue. Uh, if your camera is not listed on the Canon website, I've already covered that, get the closest version, uh, the mode on camera. So there's a few things that I played about with. On my T2i, there's a manual mode and there's a video mode. So if I put it on video mode, it gives me a square aspect ratio. So it's like a square. But when I put it on manual mode, I got the widescreen. You can see that. I'll, I'll probably link it to the two test videos I did coming running up to this uh, test. But if you're getting that experience, then make sure you're putting it in the right mode or test a few of the modes on your camera. So because it's beta, we're going to have to play about to get the right version. So try that. That's another troubleshooting tip. Uh, the duration of the run. I made a video for about 10 or 11 minutes and it was fine. But I've seen a comment on the video somewhere saying that after 20 minutes it stopped. But I think that's down to the, the standard Canon thing. Is it 30 minutes? Can't remember. I'll check that. But yeah, it's one of those where your camera can keep a shutter open for a certain amount of time. When it gets too warm, it shuts down. Um, I've got the battery extra option on there, which actually is like an extender. It's like an adapter, which looks like a normal battery normal like battery for your camera but it's got like a little lead you can plug that to your power lead check that you can get those for most cameras it's about 20 ish quid or something so if you're going to stream for longer periods of time that's something handy to have in skype i've shown you how to set it up in skype and um, stream yards you can select it from the drop down list so if you're installing it and it's not working for you what you want to do is make sure that you're using the right type of software so if i show you the skype what it will enable you to see it is it'll show you it as well it's locked that screen there so where is it? yes so that's the camera option there see that is showing as a webcam utility beta so that's what it's going to be known as in any of the softwares so it's not appearing as like a, a camera it won't work in the windows camera option so that's something to keep an eye on um so OBS screen dual capture won't work. So when I flip between screens, it actually lags. So it stops for a minute and then it does that. But then again, that's a better stage. So that's a few things. If you're experiencing issues with old cameras, I'm hoping these help you. Just comment below what issue you're having and I'll make an updated version of this so we cover all the possibilities. Um, but I'll link you to a few cards of playlists for this specifically so you can check out all the videos, but it'll be helpful for you. See you in the next one.